Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Hohenzollern here in Veritas at Fortitude Mod for your Open of 4. We can actually see our, our name on the map now. It's just very small. It's because it's a very long name. If we had a short name like Kiev, it'd be bigger text, bigger font. But that's all right. Let's march on. We're currently at war. It's not my war. Uh, Brandenburg and Pomerania are at war for some reason. It's a rivalry war. Okay. And he is currently getting sieged by Mecklenburg, but only in one province. Oh, Mecklenburg might just straight up annex Pomerania. I think that would end our war. That'd be perfect. But Meissen has joined against us, so uh, Brandenburg is going to beat him up. He might annex them. We'll see. We were trying to vassalize Alsus. But they didn't want any of it. We are at um, 48 out of 52 relations. We just can't get that vassal, can we? It's just not going to happen. Hmm. Friendly is good. Our diplomatic reputation is very good. Our base tax is good. But he doesn't like that our military is weak, which is weird because he's only got two guys. We've got nine. We're building a tenth unit. Maybe that'll make the difference. Maybe this last unit, this extra cavalry, maybe that will be all we need. We'll see. Oh, Scotland actually blockaded Morocco or something because they made them give up money. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Who else doesn't like me? Well, not many, actually. Most people do like us. But we'll improve relations anyway with some of our farther away neighbors. Okay, Lorraine's out of the war. But Byrne and Wallace are still going at it. Byrne is going to annex Wallace. That's what's going to happen here. Interesting. So even with that cavalry, it's just not enough. Get some mercs? Yeah, if we get some mercs, that might do it. Alright, good idea. Let's get a couple mercs. Oh my god, that's expensive. If we get mercs, we won't be able to give him a gift. And if we can't give him a gift, then we can't get relations high enough. So we're going to have to save up money. So it's going to have to take some time, I guess. So that's all right. Stop suggesting the give a gift. Stop it. I don't have the money. Oh no, Jeu de Pomme is over. But I think that does mean we can do another Jeu de Pomme match. Uh, better relations over time. Yes, please. Considering we're being a warmongering bastard, uh, might as well get better relations over time. Oh, you're right. If we make our general into... I mean, if we make our king into a general... We could get events that would give us legitimacy and reduce our war exhaustion. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. We don't actually have to use them to fight. We just have to put them in the army. And Byzantium has ceded even more land to Great Wallachia. Poor Byzantium.
Yeah, that event only triggers when you're when you're at plus fifty percent in a war. But I think we can get there. Milan declared war on Monferrat. Yep, that was expected. So now Milan's at war with uh, a lot of stuff. Go for it, Milan. You can do it. He's finally going to link up his lands. Finally. Good job, Milan. You're the man. Why is Salzburg invading Provence? Occupied by Salzburg. What the fuck? Oh, it's the Luxembourg Conquest of Liege. <laughs> okay, sure it is. You say so. Well, there's our uh, there's our vassalization right there. Twenty five gold. Let's go ahead and give the gift. And we'll see if we can get this to tick up. It just needs to go a little bit. We might do it through mercenaries. We might do it through some other means. But yeah, we'll save up some cash. And then we'll spawn two mercs. And that might be enough to get this uh, in our pocket. Castile inherited Leon. Okay. So he didn't actually have to hit the annexation button. He just inherited them. And he still has two more vassals to go. Fair enough. Yeah, the Ilkhanid is still around. They're not, um... They're not doing a whole lot. They're over there. They have more rebels. Of course they do. But, for the most part, they're gone. Just pretend they're not there. Okay, so Mecklenburg is sieging Stettin. They'll probably take that from Pomerania. And, oh shit. Events ensure have caused a setback in the integration pro pros progress process. Shit! It'll take years to regain the lost ground, for fuck's sake. So now it's going to take even longer. Oh, god damn it. Integrating vassals in this mod is so annoying. Oh well. Brandenburg might just straight up annex Meissen. It's possible. Do we break the alliance, or do we break the marriage? We lose stability. I don't want to lose stability, though. Hmm. Well, we are 50. Maybe we'll just die. I guess we'll just wait. I don't like that we're wasting a diplomatic point every month, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, Byrne and Wallace pieced out. Did they? No, they're still at war. Oh, something happened. Byrne was sieging Wallace, and now they're not. And Milan stopped sieging Montfrat for some reason. God damn it, Milan. He was sieging Montfrat, and he just abandoned the siege. Why would you do that? Okay, this should be the end of uh, Pomerania here. Mecklenburg is going to take Stettin. Go on, take it. Oh, he's only at 53 war score. He might need more than 53 war score to take uh, Pomerania's capital. It's possible. Bavaria declared war on Austria. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Bavaria declared war on Austria. I love it. Okay. So Bavaria's at war with Austria, Nyatra, Bohemia, Brittany, Slavonia, and Luxembourg. Austria's at war with Bavaria, Hohenlohe, and Würzburg. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Lunaborg will annul treaties with Holstein and Pomerania. Okay. Now do you have enough war score? No, no you've lost war score. Oh, shit.
Hmm. Luxembourg is in premium relations with us. Okay. France is not friendly anymore. Could be because we lowered our maintenance. Ooh, battle. Wurzburg and Bavaria versus Luxembourg and... Oh, just Luxembourg. That must be Luxembourg's whole army. war on Austria? If we were going to do that, we would fabricate claims on him. But he's not my rival. Yeah. I would have to swap him out, and you don't really want to swap out rivals in this mod. In this mod, it's better to keep the current rivals you have. I'm not saying you're wrong, I'm just saying that, uh... Well... Let's go ahead and fabricate. Oh, there you go. Pomerania will siege Stettin to Mecklenburg. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, and now... Brandenburg will finish the annexation of, of uh, Pomerania. So Pomerania is going to be a non-entity. We should probably get relations up with Mecklenburg. Can we do that? Okay, come on back. Relations go. So Voy is improving relations with us. Good, good. Looks like having our king as a general is not going to help because, or not our king, our duke, is not going to help right now because this war is just not uh, going in our way yet. I mean, 7% is, is nice, but it doesn't really give you any bonuses. You have to get like 50% to see the bonuses. All right, let's go ahead and fabricate on Austria for Sungo. We'll just claim all this stuff over here. Why not? Hopefully we don't get discovered, but we probably will. Yeah, 3% chance every month. Ooh, gift to the state. 12 ducats. Yes, please. And we were discovered. Damn it. Uh, negative 4 for aggressive. So we took aggressive expansion just by fabricating. Yeah. We got discovered right away. But hey, at least, at least we got discovered early on. I don't have to worry about it. Okay, now, is that enough money to get this guy as a vassal? Maybe. I need two units, I think. I think two mercs would do it, but man, that's going to be expensive. You know what? Let's just get two regular soldiers. And we'll lower the funding even more. Maybe. Maybe. I hope that's enough. It sure is close. Bavaria is winning his war against Austria. Wow. He's fighting Austria and the Emperor at the same time, and he's winning. That's pretty impressive. Make the Palatinate vote for us. I don't think that's going to happen. He's my rival. Oh, and look at this. Uh, who is this? Genoa? No, Trier. Trier has flipped back to uh, voting for Luxembourg again, so Luxembourg shall remain emperor. Interesting. 
In fact, we should be improving relations with Trier. Yeah. Who needs a hug? No. Nah, you could you could do it. All right, we have two more soldiers. Is that enough? Are you impressed? He is almost impressed. What about if we raise our funding? Now are you impressed? 48 out of 49. Come on. Oh, he's still not impressed. Okay, one more soldier. Ooh, Hesse annexed Anjbach. Wow. You son of a bitch, Hesse. Although that does mean he might wind up at war with Bavaria, which would be good. We want him to fight Bavaria. Yeah, one more soldier will probably do it. We can't keep them fully funded for long, but we can keep them fully funded for a little while. Yeah, 48 out of 49. Come on. Oh, shit, Rebels. Oh, and they're in the mountains, too. Screw you, Rebels. Ah, uh, crap. Well, take them on. Might as well do it while we're funding the army, because we're not going to fund the army at peace. Golden Horde declared war on Muscovy. That sounds fun. Rats in the granary. And this is one of the horrible, horrible, horrible events you can get for the granaries. 25 ducats, lose admin points, lose revolt risk, gain prestige. You increase some province stability. However, other option would be to... Uh, this is a job for the aristocracy. So we don't spend money. We lose prestige, but the same thing gets done. Okay. Sell the land. Lose the granary. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll say it's a job for the aristocracy. That way we keep our money. He's still not impressed enough because we lost some soldiers in that fight. God damn it. Come on. go. Close, but no cigar. Well, this guy's really demanding. Dana, what is this? Genoese conquest of Modena. So Genoa wants to conquer that land. Okay. Fair enough. Oh my goodness. Can I please take you as a vassal? Please. Ah, it's just not happening.
move capital to Brysco. You know what? Moving capital to Brysco would probably be enough. Because the distance from capital thing is negative uh, 19. Is it worth spending those points? We can't do it while we're at war, can we? Can't do it while we're at war. But that's a good suggestion, actually, because this is getting really frustrating, and we're spending too much cash here. We're going to have to lower the funding on our troops soon enough. Moving capital might be the best option. As silly as that sounds. <sighs> 48 out of 48. You're saying if I build one more guy? Alright, I'll build one more guy. Bulgaria declared war on Serbia. That sounds fun. Meissen will cede Wittenberg to Brandenburg. Pomerania will annul treaties. Oh, Pomerania peaced out. So he didn't take everything, and he didn't he didn't finish off Pomerania. He only took one province. Probably smart. That way he doesn't get a coalition. Organize a match of Jutapalm. I can't do the nine ducats right now. Sorry. We lost one of our diplomats because the war is over. That's fine. Actually, yeah, how much is it to move the capital? Two hundred admin. You know what? That's so cheap, I'll do it. Capital is now Brysco. At the end of the month. Yeah, there you go. Instantly changed his mind about vassalizing. Same thing with Baden. So yeah, moving capital. That's decent. 200 admin points, but it allows us to negotiate better. Anyway, cancel that unit. Uh, what can we do about this? Five days. Okay. Yay, all this is now my vassal. Okie dokie, good times. That was tougher than expected, but thank you for the suggestion of moving our capital. That actually helped out quite a bit. Um, that works massively in our favor, because now we can vassalize Basel as well. Yeah. And I think it's safe to delete some troops. Uh, or we could just lower the funding. I think no matter what we do, it's still going to cost us too much cash. So let's delete um, one cab and two soldiers. There we go. And lower the funding to about half. Okay. Good times. I wish the integration process with Chur was going faster, but we can't do anything about it. We can't speed it up. We just got to wait for the events to pop up. New Vassal. All right, let's do some Jeu de Palm. And 
the emperor just lost a war. <laughs> so now they lost their votes, and the emperor's ship is going to go to Brabant. Okay, so keep getting relations up. We might have to ally Brabant. We'll see. What's our government type? We're currently a duchy. Hey, we invited our vassal Chur to play Jeu de Pomme. Great. Jeu Palm equipment. Of course, we want the newest and the best, although that would be too expensive. We don't have the money for that. Well, no, we do. Just barely. What's going on in the Balkans? Nothing. Nothing at all. Grain prices are too low. Gain revolt risk in all provinces. Uh, spend money or gain revolt risk in all provinces. Civil turmoil for a few months. That's ah, fine. All right, let's play some Jeu de Palm. And we got our claim on Austria. Good. Let's keep getting claims over here. Okay, let's play Jeu de Palm. Uh, let's start with a bobble, which is a slow ball. Fabricate on Austria some more. An equal return. Sometimes friendship and fair play have a higher value in a match of Jeu de Palm than the game itself. If a monarch likes the other, heated discussions over some of the rules weren't part of the game. In this case, the noble spirit of Friedrich Ludwig I gained the upper hand. A ball which was played by the ruler of Chur was very weak. The duke had the opportunity to let his rival win and better the relations with him which would be seen as a noble gesture. However, doing so, he would lose the match. I'll be noble, gain relations with Chur. Uh, doesn't say for how long. Or we can uh, play a normal ball and just continue the game. No, no, we'll be noble, it's fine. Okay, Osman is getting big. Yes, this is the Ottomans, essentially. We, lo we lose, we gave up the event, that's yeah, fine. We'll play more later on. Oh, Ottomans, you are scary. Sweden declared war on Denmark. Hey, hey. Denmark, Mazovia, Norway, Brabant, and Flanders. Well, that looks fun. Good luck. They're still in that rivalry war. I can't believe that war is still going on. But it is. Prove legitimacy. Gain prestige and admin points if we get our legitimacy up to 100. Hmm. I wish I could just click a button to raise my legitimacy, but it's not really an option. Bernard Wallace finally pieced out for just some money. Interesting. Bern likes us. Wallace hates us. Makes sense. Byrne does not want my lands anymore. Oh, no, he still does. Wallace wants more. Ah, oh, okay. It's a matter of how much. Bavaria is kicking Austria's butthole, which is so weird. But there you go. How's our exhaustion look? It's still going down. I would like it to hit zero before we go into another war. Let's go ahead and get some tech. 
Little bit of tech never hurt. When do new units come? We get new cav at tech 6. And we get new soldiers at tech 8. Okay. Well, we'll see if the new cav is worth getting in January. Okay, we maxed relations with Brabant. Is he still going to be the emperor? Um, yes. Brabant is going to be the emperor when the emperor dies. How old is the emperor? 51. Okay. How are we doing on the whole disputed succession thing? France still has that weak claim heir. Mecklenburg. Ooh, Mecklenburg. Really? Yeah, but he's only 39. Okay. Why do we save up points? Because techs become a lot cheaper if you just sit on the points. There usually is no reason to tech up as soon as you have enough points. Saving points can be very beneficial. Can be. Not always, but it can be. Let's go top off Francie Pants. Provence declared war on Dauphine. Oh, oh shit. France has an alliance with Provence? He does. Whoa. Okay. Dauphine, Brittany, Pisa, Haino, Holland, Bar, and Neuchâtel. Wow. That's a big war. Well, sort of. I mean, France should be able to handle it. But it's a somewhat big war. You know what, though? We're out of time for this episode today. So let me go ahead and get a pause in here if I can. Damn it, pause. There we go. The click response uh, is very, very, very poor in this mod, just because there's so much shit going on. The game doesn't respond the way it's uh, the way it normally does. Anyway, we got ourselves a new vassal in Alzis. He's not the best vassal ever, but uh, hey, we got it. And I'm going to do that for anyone who's an Archbishopric, because I don't want to keep spending the plus 200% uh, coring cost on all this stuff. Also, we need our war exhaustion to go down, so being at peace is uh, rather useful. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.